and speaking of saudi speaking of saudi um a lot of nigerian players are getting linked to saudi these days but mm -hmm. there's another nigerian player this transfer saga has gone on and on and on mm -hmm. you know sometimes when i think about it it's a bit crazy that we knew since last season that he's going to leave that he wants mm -hmm. to leave yeah. but somehow with three or four days left mm -hmm. in the transfer window we yeah. still don't have any confirmation nothing is official because of finances mm -hmm. because of one thing or the other of course if you mm -hmm. don't already know i'm talking about victor osime you see mm -hmm. this picture on your screen this is how mm -hmm. i've been i've been feeling this is how i've been looking waiting for something to happen with this, mm -hmm. with this osime transfer um mm. now the latest information that is reaching us as of about 20 minutes ago is that there are only two clubs interested hmm. al ali of saudi mm -hmm. and chelsea fc of england yes of course chelsea have maintained their position since mm -hmm. for them to make this deal happen the finances have to make sense yes Osime has to fit within the wage structure, structure. that is at the club mm -hmm. i've i've not spoken to Osime, so i don't know what is true Mm -hmm. but i've heard some crazy things i've heard oh he's asking for 450 he's asking mm -hmm. for 500k all mm -hmm. sorts of things but it has come down to four days to go in the window mm -hmm. only two clubs are interested they said psg are not even you know looking at that right now only mm -hmm. al ali in saudi and chelsea of course mm -hmm. osime's agent came out and said osime is an asset he is not somebody to be thrown away for a new project so He's implying that Osime is not going to Saudi. So mm -hmm. Chelsea seems like the most likely destination now. But mm -hmm. they need to be able to work out the finances. Although they said Al Ali are there, they are waiting. If the Chelsea deal should not happen, then go just tap and say, boy, why don't you come home and make and make some millions? Um, mm -hmm. but this Osime thing, honestly, is getting tiring, man. I, I, mm -hmm. I'm happy that the window is closing because it has to come to an end. Um, mm -hmm. will he stay? Will he go? We have to wait and see. Um, but Smidlai, what, what do you think about this whole um, current situation with Victor Osimhen? You know, you said that uh, you are tired. And you give an expression about um, how you feel. You know, I am pretty sure that um, you are echoing the feelings of others here about what is really happening in this. In fact, this is the longest transfer saga I've ever seen. I have to, apart from Johnny McAlobi in 2005. You know, the way you are confused. It's also the way those reporting it are confused. Gianluca Di Mazio yeah. is reporting that PSG they are going for Victor Simon. When he posts, Fabrizio Romano will come back and say, No, oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we say no, no, that guy will go. Is that guy, so I think that guy is the Sky Italia reporter, Gianluca yeah. Di Mazio. When he posts again, uh, 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 this guy, I'm just seeing the Nigeria flag there. Uh, Fabrizio will come. <laughs> Say, no, 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 no beat. So everybody doesn't even know what is happening. In mm. fact, people are as confused as uh, anybody else. In fact, we say for what they talk now, we seem to be even getting more information than them. They don't <laughs> seem to understand what is going on. But for me, I, I just think that, um, you know, it's, I'm really, really confused. I don't know what is going. But I tend to think that uh, Grealuca and Demazio might be right. PSG will put in a bid. Because of a because of Ramos that got injured. injured, I think PSG might even win the race because um, I think he already agreed personal terms. It's just for him to for Napoli to sell him. But the problem now is this: I think there's been bad blood when they were negotiating Ezekiel Lavezzi deal and uh, the <laughs> Napoli and. Uh, of, PSG. Of, of how many years ago <laughs> and also this guy's deal what's it called um uh, cavani mm. i don't think they have the best of relationship between the two parties i don't think so because uh the 60 million that psg wants to present is also the same thing that saudi wants to present now but what is that what is in that package for saudi that is making uh, napoli to want to accept saudi and not to accept the psg one so I, I also think that um, you know one person must be able to shift set in this in this situation just for Victor Simeon to actually want to move on. One for Victor, if you like, don't sell him. He'll be collecting two hundred and fifty 
playing for second team in your this thing, and you'll be paying. If you don't, if you don't pay, you will take it to FIFA. Mm-hmm. So for me, I, I just think that um, you know we are very confused. But uh, like well, like you will say, we have to have two plus one. The two from Fabrizio, one from Gialuca Di Marzio. Mm-hmm. PSG plus Chelsea and Alila. Any of those three options that she was going to be where we go with that. I think so. Okay, let me ask you this question because mm-hmm. you're saying um, there's issues between PSG, um, mm-hmm. Napoli, everything. Osime's mm-hmm. agent say he's not going to Saudi. Where, yes. where does where does Osime line in the middle of all of this? Where do he and his agents line in the middle of all of this? Because we know this that right now, the only thing that is stopping Osime to Chelsea mm-hmm. is salary. Yes. If Osime today should say, you know what, I agree. I'll mm-hmm. drop my salary demands. Mm-hmm. Chelsea will make the deal happen. Mm-hmm. Mio, I'm not going to tell anybody what to do with their money. Mm-hmm. But at what point do you think Osime and his agents just say, you know what? Let's accept to take lower wages. Mm-hmm. Let us move to Chelsea or let us move to PSG mm-hmm. and, and get the ball rolling. Because Chelsea, the new structure at Chelsea is they pay less or average wages in the Premier League. Mm-hmm. And if you do well, mm-hmm. just like we saw with Copama, one season of Copama doing well, mm-hmm. they increase the salary to close to star level. Now, I don't know what exactly Osimen's demands are because I'm not in negotiation. Mm-hmm. But from what we are hearing, we are hearing things like 350, 400, 500. Mm-hmm. The reality of it is that those are like extreme, extreme high level salaries. Mm-hmm. Those are super, super, super star salaries. Mm-hmm. Now, with all due respect to Victor Osime, mm-hmm. do you think Osime is a player that commands like 400,000 a week? Uh, 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 you see, if uh, Sterling could be getting paid to 25, and Lukaku is on, I think I see a red plus or two. And I, I think Victor Zimmer deserves all the flower he gets. Uh, I have to be honest with you. This is a this is number eight in the world in the balloon the but best player in Africa. Smith, Smith, like, Smith, like, yeah. I, I'll cut off and I'll disagree with you because I, I will say it. I don't think he deserves that much, honestly. And this is not to down on Victor Osime. You say Sterling. Check mm-hmm. Sterling's history. Check mm-hmm. Sterling's record. Mm-hmm. Sterling was a top-level player for mm-hmm. several years mm-hmm. before he moved to Chelsea and he collected that kind of money. Mm-hmm. Lukaku has a goal-scoring record for mm-hmm. several years, including mm-hmm. in the Premier League, before mm-hmm. he got that kind of money. Mm-hmm. Victor Osime, the truth is, I love Victor Osime, but mm-hmm. the kind of money, and that's, see, that's even one of the reasons why Chelsea does not want Sterling anymore, Chelsea mm-hmm. does not want Lukaku anymore, because mm-hmm. they are earning more money than what they are contributing. Mm-hmm. Yeah? But... Look at the kind of money now that we are saying that Osime is asking for 350k, 400k. Mm-hmm. That is Kevin De Bruyne, Mohamed Salah, Ellen Haaland type of money. Mm-hmm. Now, if you are going to ask for Ellen Haaland type of money, then you better you better be competing with Ellen Haaland in terms of goals. Mm-hmm. You better be. And Osime hasn't scored that kind of number. Osime has had two fantastic seasons, in my own opinion. Mm -hmm. One in Lille, another in Napoli. Last season was good, but last season was not 350,000 a week level good. Mm. Okay. He scored about, what, 20-something goals last season? Yeah. You know, how many did Haaland score? Way more than that. Yeah. So for me, I look at it that I, I I want him to get his coins, but mm. would he allow this money continue to slow him down and not allow him get a move? Because for me, when I look at the kind of money that we are hearing, I don't think he's doing enough to like even Messi Ronaldo did not make 500k a week, you know. So it's like I don't really see how we justifies it when you now consider the fact that he gets injured a lot. I honestly don't see how it justifies it. But I'm open to listening to people. I'm open to listening to you. But for me, 
I think Osime deserves about maybe two, 200, 250 max. Honestly. Bobby, we can only speculate about this his salary demand. But uh, the season that uh, the season that Lukaku moved to Inter Milan, that was the season. No, the season that Lukaku moved to Chelsea, that was um, from the 2021 season with Inter Milan. How many goals did Lukaku score? I mean, I can check if you if you actually yeah, want. Yeah, to yeah, you check. can check. You can check because in his whole career, he scored forty-seven goals for Inter Milan. So how many goals did he score in that season? That's brought that took Chelsea. That Chelsea took him for that type of amount of money. It's not so. Again, what I will say is that I don't think it is a thing of season by season per se. I think mm -hmm. it is a thing of his track record. Mm -hmm. He had scored. He had scored eighty-seven goals for Everton. He had scored 78 goals. Or oh, okay, maybe he total he has scored for Inter so far is 78, but that includes before he joined Chelsea and went back mm -hmm. there. But yeah. for ever but for Everton, he had scored 87 goals. You said he had scored 40 something for for Inter. Mm -hmm. So with over 120 goals in his career, mm -hmm. I mean it, it, it kind of makes sense. Don't get me wrong, Lukaku was and is being overpaid. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, yeah. but but he had more of a shout because mm -hmm. of of his track record leading up to that year it wasn't yeah. like one season because like the reality of it is osime had one season that was um, outstanding finished eighth in the world fantastic season but other than that like you know it hasn't been like that consistently mm -hmm. yeah but for me for me i, I just think that uh, we can just, can just speculate what it demands but I think that uh, if they match the salary in Napoli, I think Victor Simeone will actually what uh, will join Chelsea. Mm. I mean, yeah. and if they match the salary, he'll probably join. But then, yeah. I mean, Napoli essentially gave him that big salary just to get him to stay. The, mm -hmm. Their plan was not to keep him on that salary, so even they know that they are, that they overpaid a little bit. But I mean, I I, I don't want it to look like oh I'm, I I don't want my Nigerian brother to to make his yeah. coins. So. If he sticks, he wants to stick to his demand, let him stick to his demands. I just think that when we talk about other players, like for example, when we're talking about oh, this guy went to MLS, oh, why is he doing that? People say, Oh, money, he doesn't care about his career, money. Mm -hmm. For me now, I think this is a similar situation of a player wanting a specific amount of money and is refusing to budge and mm -hmm. can potentially put him in a bad situation for this season. Or at least for half of the season, the window open again in January. So mm -hmm. I really hope that either Chelsea accepts the demand or he lowers it. I just think that the fact that he has allowed himself not really have a preseason, he has allowed himself not start the season just because of wage demands. Mm -hmm. I think that the same way we talk about players moving to Saudi, players moving to USA, that's the same way it feels to me. Mm -hmm. Because it's not like he's a broke boy. It's not like he's not making a lot of money. He's making mm -hmm. a lot of money already. So for me, we see it all the time in football. Players take wage cuts to get into certain spaces, mm -hmm. to fit into a structure. I really do hope that he he accepts. Um, but yeah, we have to wait and see. We have to wait and see. I can see some people say they agree with you. Some people say they agree with me. You know, everybody has a different opinion on this. So I cannot really say um what it is um but you know he should join chelsea for me i want him to join chelsea Sha. um but obviously if it was my money i would have paid him how much he wants but it's not my money <laughs> you know and of course with financial fair play and all these things happening now you know at the end of the day the club is looking out for themselves if you sign a player mm -hmm. now and then the whole club goes into into financial issue in the next season even that player, it, you'll be collecting your money, but it will affect yes. whatever, it will whatever, affect success, whatever yeah. success you're looking for in the club. Because the club will have to start selling some of your best players, things like that. You know? But but let us see. Um, and speaking of Osime and his money, this is very off topic. But I found it very funny and amusing. So, I mean, if you're watching this and you're Nigerian, you probably know who Bob Risky is. Um, mm -hmm. Bob Risky was in prison some time ago. And... He came out of prison and he released a, a list of people that donated money to him when he was in prison. Mm -hmm. and, and he said Osime gave him three million naira. And when I when I saw it, 
I was just like, this is the most random thing to me. I would have never thought that Osime and Bobriski are friends. I mean, I don't know the nature of their relationship. I'm not going to speculate. But when I saw it, I was just like, this is very, very random. And this is proof that Osime has more money than he knows what to do with. Mm -hmm. uh, but but yeah, I don't know if anybody else saw that. I, I just thought it was it was very funny. Some of the other names there, I'm like, yeah, it makes sense. But when I saw Osime, I'm like, what's in concern Osime with Bobriski? <laughs> <Bobrisky." laughs> maybe that she was friends before. <laughs> Could be maybe that she was friends initially. <laughs> Uh, but but kudos to I mean we know that Osime, Osime makes friends with yeah. anybody that you know I don't want to get into it, it may not be like Sadie. Uh -huh. But 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 yeah, um and it was funny because when his 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 other friend that he gave um recording of um Finney the Judge at that time, mm -hmm. when he he did his own video talking about oh I'm disappointed in this person, I'm disappointed in that person. I I watched that video, I was waiting to say to see if he will say he's disappointed in Osime, but you know, you don't call Osime name because you know, say, uh, Osime go still wire him another 5,000 or 10,000. So mm -hmm. <laughs> you cannot bite the hand that feeds you. Yes. Um, yes. But you know, Osime obviously has enough money. He should come and donate money to our channel. Maybe, uh -huh. maybe, <laughs> maybe do something. Yes, you can do that. May, or maybe Smith, like you need to go and commit a crime. Maybe, maybe <laughs> carry inside, inside, inside British, inside British prison. Uh -huh. Just, Three months, maybe we just use them. Ah, Smithlai is locked up. <laughs> we, we need, we need money. <laughs> Victor, we say okay, well, let me support this guy. You know, um, but but yeah, um, all the best, Victor. See, man, we are waiting for this transfer to happen. Four days, so is now, is now or never. Mm. Um,